Hello folks and welcome to our channel again. Always good to be with you. We talk about everything on this channel. We talk about spirituality, we talk about religion, we talk about politics, all these things you see because we think that the truth, the truth about ourselves, the way things work, the divine, we think all of them fall under the heading of spirituality not just spirituality, practical spirituality that is exhibited in the person of a warrior of compassion. A long time ago, a warrior, the spiritual warrior, was seen as a person who was not a soldier, did not just take orders and go out killing and slaying other people for the great cause. They were the person who fought mostly against two enemies. One enemy was the lies, the darkness, and the deception within oneself. The major enemy. And the second was to protect one's community, one's family, and one's friends from the lies and deceptions and manipulation that came from the outer world in order to enslave all of the community. Today, during these times of info wars, we find ourselves in a battle all of the time against all of the lies, the deceptions, the warping of thoughts and ideas in order to keep us enslaved, to keep us away from the truth. And when I mean truth, I don't mean what some of the crazies a few years ago talked about when they talk about alternative facts, there's no such thing. What I'm talking about is reality, the truth, the greater understanding of the way that things work. And this is aligned with the idea of virtue, which means living a life that one knows is aligned with reality or the truth. That doesn't happen nowadays. Many people find that it's much easier to live a lie. It's very convenient. Make one feel better. But the problem with that is there is always the still, deep voice of the divine of our original self. Making it just a little uncomfortable. Letting us know that what we're doing is living a lie. And worse than that, deceiving ourselves. So let's stop deceiving ourselves by living in the little box that each of us have been given in this culture. The box that tells us who we are, what we are, what we can be, and what value we have. Let's get out of the box, expand our thoughts and our ideas and our feelings dream, great dreams, and work to make them come true, knowing this, that the dreaming of the dream and the movement of the dream is the success of the dream. One need not attain anything except the power to imagine, to dream, to keep going forward, to keep getting up when they knock you down or telling you that you are wrong, to know the truth, to be able to seek deeply in one's heart and to find that divinity, God, goddess, whatever you want to call it, deep down in there and to live a life of joy and splendor by holding on to the truth. The truth is that we're a whole beings. The truth is that we don't need to add anything to ourselves. We need to subtract from ourselves. We need to subtract the lies, the warped ideas, the twisted view of the world that we have. And when that is gone, it is like muddy water that is stirred up. When we allow the mud to settle, clarity comes. And meditation, you see, is to do two things. One is to allow the mud to settle and to the contemplation 
and the breathing concentrated on the area below the navel and two inches back called the Don Tian. We burn up, dissolve away the mud and the dust and the dirt until we attain the clarity, the pure light, the emptiness that consists of each and everything. And we begin to realize, you see, that we are that emptiness that consists of each and everything. We realize that we have created this ego that we have. We have projected it. We have listened to friends and family members. We have partaken of all of the knowledge of this world, not in order to cling to it and to build walls and make boxes for ourselves, but so that we, like a caterpillar, can go into our cocoon wrapped in all of that wisdom and knowledge and then one day we will burst forth as mature human beings breaking the human form that we have picked up in a fundamentalist pseudo-scientific world and becoming truly human this becoming truly human means blending the earthly with the divine so that our beauty, our wisdom, and our grace, that which we brought into the world, can exist in all places. Thus comes the saying, on earth as it is in heaven. My question is, are you willing to take that step? The step that it takes to become mature and to be oneself, you see, because every time we do some type of deep meditation, we are entering into that cocoon. One way that we can speed up this process of emerging greatly and greater and more wise and staying that way is to use a method that the Taoists used to use. It is simply to stop stopping meditating. What does that mean? It means we not only sit and observe and think and relax in one spot for 20 minutes or 30 minutes. All of our lives we are observing. We are looking, we are listening, we are paying attention to our feelings, to our thoughts, to all of the things that arise as we run into difficult people or people who please us or different circumstances. We are there, part of us standing back, being aware of everything in a way that is not judgmental, but educational. And as we do this, you see, we begin to grow. We begin to understand how the world works and how we work, and our thoughts and behaviors, like magic, move towards the truth. We grow. We expand. We return to being the truth again. We realize that we are like waves on a great ocean. Great ocean of all possibilities. And each time we return to those possibilities, we are like the waves rising up for a time individually and crashing back into the ocean. But those waves have never been separate to the ocean. They have always been the ocean. They have always been water. They have always been connected. And we, like those waves, are connected to the source. We have always been connected. And when we remember that we are connected to that which we call divine ourselves, our own gods, we can choose to go down deeper and farther and draw on every resource all of the knowledge and wisdom and the ability that exists deep in that ocean an infinite amount of knowledge and wisdom and truth and then there's a big struggle, this fight 
that we find ourselves engaged in, in this artificial world, in this artificial matrix, a matrix that is created on a false basis that there is not enough for everyone. When we awaken and we realize that this is a world of abundance, you see, things become different. The struggle for life, the fighting, the conflict, it all becomes a great dance. It becomes a great play and we become the actors strutting out on the stage. Except this time we remember that we are the actors. We don't get lost in the role or the story. We remember who we are and we realize that we can change the act whenever we would like because we can strip off one mask of the ego and put on another whenever we would like and there will be no disastrous outcome if we don't live up to other people's standards or if we don't get the house right now or the car or the right good looking partner there won't be any disaster we won't be destroyed we'll have a chance to take advantage of all the great things just by doing like the great teacher Kalidasa taught in his little saying where he said look to this day for it is life the very life of life in its brief course lie of the verities and the realities of your existence the bliss of growth the glory of action and the splendor of beauty for yesterday is only a dream and tomorrow is just a vision but today today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope so look well to this day in other words if we live in the now and we do what needs to be done today Tomorrow will take care of itself. Live now in joy, in peace, in splendor, and in the type of love, agape love, where we are taking care of ourselves, treating ourselves well, forgiving ourselves, loving ourselves, and embracing ourselves. And when we do this, from that very moment, will be free. Free indeed. Thanks for being with us for this video. If you like what you're hearing, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Make some good comments. The more subscribers we get, the closer we get to being able to support this channel and some of the greatest things that we are doing. So thank you once again. You'll see information below and a link to our website if you'd like to make a donation that would be good otherwise you can just enjoy this video and some of the others and look at some of our links to find out some of the other things we are offering for free most of the time namaste everyone